Hi guys, I'm back with another booktube video for you. Um, today I wanted to talk to you about a book that, well, I don't know a lot of people who have read this book and I don't know if you know this book or not. Uh, to be honest, I watched the film first. Um, I was 17, I think, and I went through a Ellen Page phase. I was just watching every movie she was in. Don't ask me why, I don't know. And I came across this one, I really enjoyed the movie, and then I found out <clears throat> there was a book <laughs> behind all of it, so I decided to to read it, and it's still one of my favorite books ever, and it's weird because it's YA, it's young adult, and it's not a gender that I usually read, it's just, I'm, it's not my thing, I don't like it. Um, maybe because I haven't read very good ones, I don't know, but it's not my favorite gender. Um, but this one, I really, really like. So, the Tracy Fragments, uh, and as you can see, the cover is because of the, it's the film, uh, the film uh, shot. So this is Ellen Page playing the protagonist. Um, the story follows uh, a girl, she's 15 years old. Uh, her name is Tracy Berkowitz, and um, she's a troubled teenager like so many others. So she has problems at home. Her parents um, are often uh, verbally abusive to her and she has problems at school because of her classmates. And um, well, she's just, you know, going through a bad, a bad phase uh, and uh, her teenagers are not being, are not the best, obviously. Um, she's, she's going around uh, riding the bus day and night looking for her little brother. That's the main story. So it doesn't seem complicated, right? The problem is, um, <laughs> especially in the book, she mixes bits of reality with daydreams. So it's really, really hard to do two things. One, to create a timeline because she goes back and forth. She's talking about the past and the future and the present. And she's just, she's everywhere. So it's very difficult for you to create a timeline. Um, the book is really difficult in that sense. Whereas the film, it, it's a bit easier to do it. Um, the other thing is, um, it's really hard when you're reading this to distinguish between reality and daydreams. And, um, and then she, she talks about some past events and, you know, everything she gets mixed up and you just, you have to, it's an easy read and it's really short, it's 150 pages, but still you have to pay attention to the details, otherwise you just get lost. You, you don't know what ha really happened or not. Um, so it's 150 pages, but actually sometimes this happens, so it's not divided by chapters or by parts. Um, so it's, it's easy to read. You can read this easily in a couple of days, I bet. But um, if you're like me, it might take a while. I'm a slow reader myself. Um, but still, you have to pay attention. Otherwise, you just you're, you will get lost. Um, this edition actually has some um, stills from the, from the movie. So here's Alan Page playing Tracy Berkowitz. This is one of the characters, Billy Zero. Uh, this is the new kid at school. She she thinks he's super cool and um, she's completely in love with him. Here we have Tracy in school and speaking with her psychiatrist. And then we have some daydreams. So Billy Zero and Tracy are together and she's a rock star. So basically that's what she wants. Um, a funny thing about the book, um, it's in the first person and um, I, I usually don't like books in the first person, but um, I, write, I like this one. Uh, but sometimes she refers to herself as it, her classmates call her it, and um, it take it, it it's not very explicit at first and so when you read the book you might find it strange and um, you might not understand at first why she's doing that 
so she has she's basically two people she's the girl in school that everybody makes fun of she doesn't have any friends um at home things are not uh they're not they're not good <laughs> period they're just not good and then there's another side of her uh the girl who met billy zero uh they fell in love they're together they're on their way to become rock stars and uh, celebrities and um, she's at some point i think she's trying to imitate him because he's a cool kid but it doesn't belong to the to the crowd is is not with the cool clique he has the attitude, he has a style, that's why he's cool, not because he's hanging around with all the other guys. And um, I think at some point she, she tries to imitate him and she tries to imitate the cool girl so he will notice her. And um, at, at, to a, at a certain point in the book, but also in the film, in the, in the film you can see that um, people get tired of that and they just treat her for, for, for what she is. She's a girl. She's a she's a teenager. Don't give me the attitude. And um, she doesn't really know what to do. Uh, you you read the book, and it's a very honest um, description of a troubled fifteen year old. And um, I don't know. I I wasn't bullied in school. I wasn't. But um, uh, I I wasn't the cool kid either. And <laughs> I think sometimes you. You read something like this and like, yeah, she, she, she went through more stuff than me. Actually, what I, what I went through was nothing. And um, there are some bits that actually suggest she might have a personality dis the disorder. And um, that would make a lot of sense after reading the book, actually. Um, so she's just like trying, she's just trying to find herself, but um, it's, it's a sucky situation because her brother went missing, she's trying to find him so, you know, she can bring happiness and um, some balance to the household and um, at the same time she's trying to figure out how uh, she can present herself to her classmates and how she can prove them wrong. She's not... A waste of space she's not an outcast she's she's good she she loves her brother she wants to to help him and to find him obviously um he didn't vanish just because uh i don't want to go into detail but just to give an idea they were out together in the woods in the winter snowy um there's a blizzard coming and the news are saying that the blizzard is so so bad that um, it can burn your skin just to be exposed for three minutes or something and she got distracted and he disappeared so she's feeling guilty too she's not just doing this because you know she wants to clean her record with her parents who are blaming her for what happened because she was grounded she wasn't supposed to leave the house and uh, she got distracted with uh, Billy Zero, with the, the cool boy. And obviously it goes from there. So the whole, the whole story is being narrator, narrated by Tracy uh, while wearing a shower curtain. I'm not gonna tell you why she's wearing the shower curtain, but she's wearing a shower curtain, she's on the bus and she's just telling you the story. And it's really difficult to, like I said, to to create a timeline in your head. It's just it's almost impossible to do that right away because it's there are so many bits of reality and bits of information and daydreams here and there. That it's just it's super complicated to do. Um, but other than that, I think it's a really good book if you like this type of um, theme, so you know, self-discovery and all that, uh, it's a coming-of-age story. If you like this type of stories, I highly recommend it. Um, I liked it, it was one of my favorite books when I was a teenager, but still it's not my favorite gender, I must admit. Um, so I don't have a lot of young adults, I don't think I... We count Harry Potter, right? Other than that, yeah, I don't know. I don't think I do. Uh, 
So I don't know if, do you know the book? Do you know the film? Um, have you read it? Have you watched it? What did you think? Um, I think the film is really good. In, of course, it's, it's not completely royal. There are some bits, some important bits or bits that I would like to see uh, missing. But um, overall, I think it's a really nice film and uh, it really gives you the idea of the fragments, okay? So the bits of reality and the bits of daydreams. The soundtrack is really, really, really cool. I really, really like the soundtrack if you want. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm posting on a Thursday, which is weird, uh, but today is a holiday here in Portugal. Uh, and well, since I had time, I decided to make a really short video about this one. I'll be back on Saturday with another book for you. Bye.